AI is making it easier and easier to work with data. So today we're gonna to talk about five tools that let you use AI to automate and integrate your data. These are literally workflows that were not possible just a year or two ago that you can use today to essentially take advantage of AI. So in this video, we'll cover those five tools, what they are, and then exactly how they let you use AI in your workflow. With that out of the way, let's dive into these AI tools. The first AI automation tool I wanna to mention is Rose. So Rose is a spreadsheet that you can think of like Google Sheets. And essentially what it lets you do is fill in data into tables. So you can say, let's say customer, Matthew, you sell, right? And again, this is really cool for many reasons because you can take actions and add charts and tables and, and many other things. But for this video, let's talk about how they let you use AI. So one way you can do that quickly is that as you pull up a new table, you'll notice over here, one of the import options is open AI. And you can very quickly click and create your own open AI table. So I'll click here to show an example where uh, this is using a prompt, when and by whom was Apple founded, and lets you create a spreadsheet with the answer that's filled in by open AI. I can then, just like a spreadsheet, take that and drag it down, and it will apply OpenAI to these other rows, right? So it's answering different questions by AI. Now, this is cool as a little demo, but to take this further, you can go to their templates, and across all their templates, you can literally search for OpenAI, and they have a whole set of different use cases where this is really powerful. So one that I'll pull up in a different tab here is a sentiment analysis tool. So they build something that will literally let you fill in some data in a comment and then classify it with AI simply by dragging that down a column, right? Another similar use case as one of their templates is letting it classify data. So you might have different data like CEO and Rome, et cetera. And again, I'm just going to literally drag this down and apply OpenAI. And it even lets you categorize and use things like uh, not just text, but multi-tags and tags, right? Whatever it is that you want to feed OpenAI, it can actually take that as part of the prompt. So we cover that quickly, but hopefully you can see just how powerful the AI features are within rows and how it can be applied to a spreadsheet. You can kind of think of this like Google Sheets 2.0. Next, let's talk about Zapier. So Zapier is a company that maybe you don't think of as an AI company, but they've been one of the leaders of moving into AI within this automation and integration space. So they've been around since 2011. And as you may or may not know, Zapier lets you automate your work by connecting different logic flows between your tools. So here you can kind of see how with Zapier, you might do some basic things with AI, right? So when there's a new email in Gmail, send it to ChatGPT and have it create a draft in Gmail, right? Now, as cool as that is that Zapier has its own open AI uh, Zap, right? What's even more interesting is the way that they've actually integrated AI into their own product. So if we go into the Zapier dashboard, you'll see just how front and center this is uh, with this big box that's at the top of their app. And basically what it does is with AI, it asks, what would you like to automate? And so in the past with Zapier and any other automation tool, you would need to go step by step and tell Zapier what you want. Now you can literally type that out. So you can, as an example, when I add a reaction to a Slack message, create a card in Trello hit enter, it will use the magic of AI to create your zap. And there you go. Just a second later, we've got your zap. It has literally set up this step by step set of reasoning. We can click to try it. And it's already halfway built for us. We literally just have to connect and test. Now this AI zap building feature is probably the most obvious of all of Zapier's new AI implementations. But if you're interested in more of them, you can literally go to zapier.com slash AI, and it will give you an overview of a bunch of what they call beta features that they're rolling out. Uh, again, because this is literally very core to the company. So you can see as you scroll down, this create a zap AI feature that we just talked about before, 
but also new things like custom chatbots that are powered by AI, uh, building again Zaps with a co-pilot where you can talk to Zapier, uh, as well as classification within their AI fields data tables. Another absolutely awesome feature that Zapier has added is not only can you create this initial Zap with their automatic Zap creator, but you can also chat with an AI co-pilot as part of working with and creating this Zap. So here, uh, I'll do this again just so you can see it in action. After creating my initial Zap, maybe I've decided, you know what, after a Slack reaction and a Trello card, I wanna actually send a user an email. So I can send that to my AI co-pilot. It will think about it for a bit and then literally recommend a Zap or a step to add. All I have to do to click it, and there it is, it's here. These types of innovations from Zapier are pretty incredible to see, and definitely recommend following along with Zapier to see how they can continue to improve the product with AI. Next, let's talk about Airtable. So Airtable is another one of these big players that you probably know about, but they, like Zapier, are using AI in really, really cool ways. So if you're not familiar, Airtable is a spreadsheet tool or a modern database that lets you build apps, as they put it, that work within your business. So if you go to Airtable, the first thing you'll notice when you go to create is like Zapier, they now have a build an app with AI. So before you just start from scratch or use one of their templates, now you can use an AI and start to tell it, let's see, uh, I want to build a CRM next. And it will use what you tell it and using AI, generate a set of tables that fulfills your request. So here you can start to see that happening and coming into play. They call it an app, but essentially it's creating a set of tables for contacts, leads, opportunities, the types of things you would need in a CRM. And they've even gone one step further and started to populate it with some fake data that makes it come to life. So I'll create this app and we'll get to see this actually happening for real, which is pretty wild. And there we go. AI has created this literal CRM app for us by just telling it, I want a CRM. Now, aside from letting us create an app, uh, what Airtable also lets us do with AI is work with that data. So we have a couple of contacts here that they've pre-populated. Again, that was pretty cool. If I go to add a new field or a new column into this, you'll notice a bunch of column types. So I could add a text field or an image field, but now I can also add an AI field. And so we can do things like generate text where let's, why don't we start with the template here? Uh, we might want to categorize these users. So for example, maybe I will categorize the names of people uh, to either be, I don't know, enterprise, uh, SMB, or startup, right? And go ahead from there. It will generate a preview of what it might do. Let's go ahead and create that field and generate. And there we go. It's looked at Alice in Wonderland and decided that she is a startup contact, right? Of course, this exact use case doesn't quite make sense. I would probably want to, in the real world, give it a lot more of uh, information to make some calls here. But actually, to be honest, I would expect Bruce Wayne to be an enterprise as well. Wayne Enterprises is, is worth a lot of money. So before we move off Airtable, let's talk about one more thing here. One more way AI plays a role within Airtable is within automations. So if we go over to automations, this is like a little mini Zapier built into your Airtable base to create little automations that run. And what you can do is let's say you'll set a trigger of when a record matches a condition, you can set an action to, to happen. And just like you'd expect, there are things like sending an email or updating a record. But of course, now there's this generate with AI. And so just like we did before, we can give it information based on the data that we have in this trigger step and let it run, talk to OpenAI or whatever they're using on the back end and send that back to then be, again, added into our product, sent into Slack or some other place. So again, Airtable, just like some of the other tools we've talked about, are investing heavily into making AI a piece of the product. So not only are these little niceties something that is definitely really great already, I expect this to only become more and more a part of the product. Now for a fun one, let's talk about Relay. 
So Relay is like Zapier, but made for the modern century. <laughs> it is this cool new tool that lets you build automations a lot like Zapier, but in a really kind of fun and clean and modern way. Now, what's really cool about Relay is that they have been building with AI from almost the beginning. And so AI feels really native within the product. And so if you go to their app, you click new workflow, that's like building a new Zap in Zapier. What Relay will let you do is work with AI within your workflows. So to showcase how Relay lets you use AI, let's build a workflow together really quickly. So here we're gonna add a trigger and I'm gonna do one on my Google Drive where it looks for new files added to a specific folder. I've created a folder called resumes. And right now it just has one file in it, which is mine from 2020 as an example. And what I'm gonna do is have any time a new resume gets added here, have a step that runs that through an AI extract. So it's not just this general AI, you know, connect to open AI and create your own prompt. Relay has literally built in these actions that lets you control things out of the box. And so extract is a really cool one where I can say, let's extract data from that file that came through in my last step. And what's the data I want to extract? Well, let's grab a text field called name and another text field called email. And we can go ahead and test it. So I'll search for my resume here and hit test. And what you'll see is that it's running this through OpenAI it has successfully gotten a response. And there we go. It literally looked into this PDF, which I'll open just so you can see it, grabbed and extracted is the actual term here, the name and the email, and have now given it back to me within Relay, which is awesome. And because I have it here, I can then do whatever I want with it. So for example, maybe I want to send an email to this person, this candidate, so I can literally have it send to the email that got grabbed and maybe a subject of welcome to the team. Uh, let's grab their name. Maybe we'll put the exclamation at the end. And there we go. In literally a few minutes, I built an AI powered tool that let me pull data from my Google Drive, grab a PDF, extract the fields in that PDF using AI, and then send an email to that person. So hopefully after seeing that, you're as excited about Relay as I am. Definitely recommend giving this one a shot for yourself. Our fifth AI automation tool is Gumloop. So Gumloop is like if Zapier was born during the AI age. So it's not just that it is Zapier with a little bit of AI sprinkled in, it is literally a tool built from the beginning to be centered around how to use AI within workflows. So if we go into the Gumloop dashboard, you'll start to see certain things that are reminiscent of these other automation tools. Um, but a really good place to start is with templates. And so every one of these templates that they've put together give you a little bit of a sense of the types of things you can do. So things like background research on leads, pro proactive meeting prep assistants. Um, I'm gonna work with one that is a YouTube video summarizer, right? So this template will let you input a YouTube video. It will take that transcript and summarize it and give it back to you, right? So that's sort of the, the steps here. If we go ahead and run this, you can see this in action. And there we go. It looks like it took literally a couple seconds to take a video about uh, Y Combinator and summarize it. Let's try this with another video here. So this one will run is a video by a person named Dan Lehman, who uses WhaleSync and basically wanted to give a overview of WhaleSync. And there you go. It talks about how WhaleSync simplifies two-way data synchronization between things like Airtable and HubSpot. And if we come back over to YouTube, right, you can see that is exactly what the video is about. Here's Dan talking about WhaleSync, HubSpot, Airtable. Gumloop is a little bit more technical. You have to get used to things like inputs and outputs and working with a product that is truly pretty young, but the power of a workflow tool built to work with AI is pretty limitless. So definitely one I would say you might want to give a spin. So those were five of the coolest AI automation tools out there. We hope they let you take your workflows to the next level. 
and honestly just are a little bit interesting for your day as you think about how AI can make a difference. So again, we're WhaleSync. If you need to sync data between any of your apps, HubSpot, Airtable, Salesforce, come to us. Uh, but until next time, hope you enjoyed the video.